Well, I don't actually know if I've done a video of this. Um, let's assume I've not, and we'll just do another one. So yeah, you'll all know I'm a big fan of Mila. Um, not so crazy about Mila just now, sort of more into a Henry phase. Although I did use my Mila S3 today, one of them. But I thought I'd film this because I don't think I've filmed it. This is probably one of my favourite uprights of all time. Um, for a while it was this, well, the S7. I got my Felix and loved the Felix for a bit. Then I went back to this as my favourite because it was a bit of an all-rounder. But I think I've used my Felix more. I liked the Dyson light ball um, when I had that free one. When I had the one I paid £200 for, I wasn't that fussed for it, which is funny. Um, now my favourite upright is the Dyson V10. <laughs> no, it's probably still this. Um, yeah, this is my Mila S7. This is not my original Mila S7. Um, my original Mila S7 came from lovely friends, Chris and Margaret. Hi, if you're watching. Um, nothing wrong with it. I kind of just told them they should get a new one because I think Chris wanted a new one. So, you know, big Chris, if he wanted a new Mila, he was getting one. So they have a C2 cat and dog now. They gave me the S7. It was that cream one that I fell in love with, used it loads, but I ended up having two. This came up locally to me for £20. Um, same town in that I used to get a regular Chinese from before COVID and all that. So, you know, we went and got it on Chinese night. Um, 20 quid, kind of slightly stuffy, kind of retired old couple, but stuffy, but still use iPhones, if you know what I mean. And the guy says, oh, I read the Witch magazine. This was with the Witch one at the time, and, you know, it was getting too heavy for us. Even though they lived in a bungalow, so it's not as if they were carrying it upstairs. In conclusion, I don't actually think they've used it that much. Um, I mean, stuffy old people just eat sandwiches. They don't make any mess. Um... You know, the house looked mostly wooden floors and lino, so I imagine it's probably had quite an easy life. Gave me a pile of generic bags with it, though. I was like, tut, tut, tut. Um, you know, when the guy was showing me how to use it, I was like, and this is how you recline the head? I was like, yes. And then I ended up saying, yeah, I've got one already. It's just wanting another one. And then he was like, oh, right, you use it for spares and whatever. Anyway, long story short, I have a Mila S7. I'm rambling too much. It's got its instruction books, all three of them. There's the instruction book, I think there's a a quick start, and then I think there's something about the guarantee. Um, original plug, and it's even got that, which mine didn't have, so it's probably pretty well looked after. Bit newer than mine was. A um, couple differences to mine. I'm ha manually picking the cable off the hooks instead of just twisting the swivel hook. Uh, difference number one. Newer style of hose tool. Mine had the one with the thicker length strips. Difference number two, the hose is more... If you've ever had a DC-01, it's the same as that. My other S7 was a kind of thinner hose. And an annoying thing about this hose is when you use it, you get a <laughs> noise the whole time. My previous S7 didn't do that. I sold my previous S7 for like 40 quid on Gumtree. Um, it was pretty rough. I'd used it well. The only other fault with this is this, and I have glued it once, but I noticed that if you just push the hose in too rough, it bends again, so I'll have to glue it again. The wee hose thing is pretty stiff, so I imagine they've never used the anti-tip thing. My phone won't focus tonight. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, we talked about the upholstery tool. It's also got its dust and brush, which is, you know, pretty mint. I thought there was a bit of red fluff in it, but it was just my pinky. And the crevice tool, again, not really used heavily. The wand also has a, yeah, if I can get the wand out, has the plastic thing in. Mine didn't have that. It's just a slightly newer S7 to mine. The electro brush is not worn on this one, probably not worn at all. Um, the one on mine was kind of worn on so that on a thinner carpet you didn't really know it was working in the end. Um, genuine bag fitted now. I've not even cleaned this, so the dust in it. You can't really see it because of the slightly dodgy lighting. But the kind of dust, the kind of slight film of dust in it has been there the whole time. There's a filter in there. You know, it wasn't too dusty, which makes me think they've not even used it much anyway. So yeah, I haven't had this out in quite a while. I think I had it out recently to use though, and I thought that's why I'll film it. Let's try and close that. And here, it's just the basic one, so it has the cage with the filter. Mine didn't have this cage, and I never bought one. So, in the end, well, what the previous owners had done, they actually took the original HEPA filter and scooped the HEPA out of it and just stuffed a filter in it. 
which was genius. It saves you buying the, the cage, didn't it? Same switches, not like the, the newer ones with the kind of fancier switch. And then underneath, if we recline it, the recline thing is much better than mine was as well. You'll see the electric brush kind of actually sticks out. Mine didn't really do that. Kind of floats. Yeah, it floats. Swivel wheels, wheels on the back. Not much else to say, really. Uh, I suppose I'll show you it working. 10 meter flex, which is very handy. Not like I clean mansions on a regular basis, but it's big enough for Hoover Master Towers. I don't use it here, I use it next to my grandparents because they've got carpets, we don't. I don't think it'll like this rug, but on the floor, it'll be fine. So, the soft start, it'll come on on max. Try it on the rug, YOLO and all that. Uh, I'll actually turn it way down. Let's just wind some of this cable up to get out of the way. So yeah, this is a learning curve for me because I've never actually used it on a thick rug. We'll see what happens. Right, recline it. Oh, that actually works. There you go, that's actually... Oh, I'm very impressed with that. And actually it's not disturbed chug either. I'm actually pretty happy with that. This is actually just an old rug we keep for when the fire gets used. Um, yeah, I did not think it would clean this rug actually, so there you go. I'm more impressed with it. It does smell of old dust though. Um, but yeah, works well. I'm going to apologise. My phone hasn't focused like for the whole video. So yeah, apologies. But yeah, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.